If you're familiar with the months leading up to Centro 4's release back in 2013, then you're most likely familiar with this little clip from E3. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us kill said we should. At the time, this appeared as nothing more than a quick cover-up to avoid spoilers. However, the scene's dialogue would be changed in later showings, and it was obviously done in haste since Shandi's lip-syncing wasn't fixed. When the people who helped us save the world said we should. What makes this even more bizarre is that the newer, less polished take was used in the final game. This has since led to countless debates on why this adjustment was made. Did Volition simply feel the need to change Shandi's line, or did she mention a name of a character who was cut from the beginning of the game? It's been widely speculated that the original villain from the opening mission was actually Kilbane instead of Cyrus. After all, Shandi being alive would imply the Gangsters in Space ending is canon. There were also early drafts for Saints Row the Third where Kilbane would have used a nuke to destroy Stillwater. It isn't the biggest stretch to think the unused subplot could have been incorporated into the beginning of Saints Row 4 and used to cut off loose ends with Kilbane escaping. What cemented the idea for some is that Kilbane's model can actually be found within Saints Row 4's files. Though, in all likelihood, the model was either left over from the third or there's early plans to add the character later in the story. Maybe he would have made a physical appearance in Matt Miller's simulation instead of just a brief cameo in the text-based minigame. Well, after eight years of speculation, we at long last have the answer to this conundrum, and I can honestly say it is the most insane thing I have ever heard for a Saints Row game. As it turns out, there actually was another character in place of Cyrus Temple during the Zero Saints 30 mission. Was it Kilbane? Nope. Monica Hughes? Nada. Dex? God, I wish. No, it actually would have been a new character to the Saints Row series. Are you ready for this? Are you sure? Okay, well get ready to have your mind blown. The original villain of Zero Saints 30 was Osama Goddamn Bin Laden. Fuck Bin Laden. Fuck Bin Laden. What? You think I'm joking? The earliest hint that Osama was in the game was when it was discovered that enemies from the mission went by Al-Qaeda in the game's files. However, the truth wouldn't finally be revealed until early unused subtitles were found in one of Asha's audio tapes that directly references her helping the Saints take down Osama during that mission. Since this was discovered, it has given modders a big leap into finding more information through Saints Row 4's files. Of course, the first thing that was looked into is if Osama's character model could still be found. Unfortunately, dates and edits of certain files indicate that Cyrus' model from the mission completely replaced Osama, so sadly we may never know what he looked like. Well, actually, we'll get back to that. The second biggest finding comes from Singa, which is shockingly 50-plus audio files of Osama's voice lines. Let's take a listen to a few, shall we? <laughs> well, that was certainly something. The last large discovery was actually found by complete accident. While I was working on this video, I asked Saintro modder Beauty DeWanger if he could possibly remove the mask of one of the Al-Qaeda models. My initial plan was to make my own Osama face texture, place it on the maskless model, and finally swap it for Cyrus in the Zero Saints 30 mission. However, as Beauty was seeing if it was possible, he discovered that one of the models actually uses Osama's face texture. Sadly, the scarf can't be removed, but Beauty was able to swap out Cyrus's face with Osama's. So this is likely the closest we'll ever be to recreating the original concept for this mission. After all this, we're still left with one big question. Why was Osama replaced to begin with? Did Volition consider the idea distasteful once production began? Maybe Osama's real-life death impacted their decision on the game. Though let's consider that Osama's death wasn't revealed until May 2nd of 2011. This was during Saints Row III's development, so it seems unlikely Osama's death was a factor in initially placing him in the game. Honestly, we may never fully know. Hopefully, if Volition starts up their weekly streams again, we may be able to ask about Osama and get a bit more insight on the whole idea. Well, there you have the largest mystery in Saints Row 4, discovered nearly a decade later. It's wild to think the game could have been even more crazy than it already was, but it's probably for the best that Osama was cut. I think Pierce's voice actor, Arifes Kinchin, best explained it during his stream. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. That, that, that might have that been cool on one end, but so disrespectful at the same time but respectful for the fact of who we were killing but just because of everything it's just kind of hard anyways i hope you enjoyed the video if you'd like to hear all the cut voice lines from osama with a translation please check out singa's video in the description i would also like to give a huge thanks to mega freeman and beauty de wenger for helping me gather information 
And before ending today's video, I'd like to give a super special thanks to my Patreon sponsors. John, Scissorp, Sam Just, Delta, Sis121525, Big G, Purple Bunny78, Gabriel Snyder, Fluffy Tail, Pluvio, Kevin K, Pokedex, and Specialist Angel Figueroa. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. I feel like this is probably scripted, like you're supposed to follow this way, and then, you know, boom. Oh, there's more cops, there's more cops. This looks like Eli running for his life. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Wait, so where'd he get him? <laughs> it looks Wait, like his exact running? outfit. Woo. That's, wow. Oh <laughs> As you're running like that.